you know, more and more people are reaching out with the questions of, hey, Eli, what is it like living down there in New Mexico? What can I expect? What is your climate like? What does the real estate outlook look like right now? And where are you guys heading? And all of those are great questions. And in today's video, we're gonna be going into detail on some topics that way you guys get a better grasp of what life is like down here in New Mexico in total, right? And giving you some goods and some bads along with it. That way you can make sure that it makes sense not only for you, but for everybody that you're bringing along with you. If this is your first time tuning in to the Living in Albuquerque channel. If this is your first time tuning in to the Living in Albuquerque channel, welcome. My name is Eli. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification bell down at the bottom. That way you guys never miss out on any videos because we are dropping videos every week like this, talking about what our beautiful state of New Mexico and cities here have to offer. Now, aside from doing these videos, which I thoroughly enjoy doing for you guys, I would also love to help you out with your real estate needs. And me and my team are ready to get on a quick Zoom call with you guys. So that number popping up on the screen is our direct line. I am the one that answers all the calls, texts, and emails. So if you are ready to make that move down here, feel free to hit us up. All right, the first pro on this list is gonna be the diversity in the landscape. And as far as you can see through all the videos that I've put out, the landscape here in New Mexico is gonna be very diverse. You're gonna have it all from mountain ranges to desert valleys through volcanic areas. And, you know, quite frankly, you're gonna have White Sands here, which is a big national park that is something to actually see because it's literally miles and miles and miles of white sand that just covers this kind of desert area. But really guys, to give you guys this retrospect of what to expect when it comes down to living here in New Mexico, Northern New Mexico is gonna be all the mountain regions. You're gonna have all the mountain towns, Red River, Angel Fire, Eagle's Nest. Living up there is pretty much what it sounds like, right? It's gonna be like living in the mountains. So you are gonna have inclement weather. It's still gonna be kind of like that cool temperatures for the most part, You're gonna get a lot of rain. So that makes it very green up, at, up in that area, that, right? So if you are a big outdoor enthusiast, you like going rock climbing, you like fishing, you like snowboarding, hiking, and all that stuff, Northern New Mexico might be an area for you. Now, if you still want to be closer to the city, central New Mexico, which where Albuquerque is, it's still going to be able to provide enough of that outdoor kind of lifestyle that you're looking for uh, within this box, right? Because we only offer so much here within the city because obviously we're growing and much of that is getting, you know, taken over by neighborhoods and that kind of deal. But just to name a few places here that are still very preserved you have like the elena gallegos open space the sandia foothills and then you also have the rio grande and the bosque and then if you come to the west side you are going to have all the open mesas that a lot of people still go out there and enjoy and rio rancho has a ton to offer as well and we're really about only 45 minutes away from Jemez. and then the east mountains there's a bunch of things to do there they actually got a ski resort up there it's not big santa fe also has one too and santa fe is less than an hour away so there's tons to do here in the central area of New Mexico if you are an outdoor enthusiast type of person. Southern New Mexico, it's a little bit hotter. It's a little bit more desertous. They do have a mountain town called Rio Doso, which is kind of a, a, a gem to New Mexico because although it's located on the southern part of New Mexico, it's still gonna give you all that outdoorsy lifestyle type of thing that you're looking for. And they got a great casino, ton of events are always held there. But really just to kind of blanket the whole thing, Super diverse, you're, again, you're gonna have bosques, mountain ranges, deserts, all that stuff here in New Mexico. So a little bit of everything for you guys to enjoy, especially if you like being outside. So what's a big con that we have to deal with in relations to being outside and all that stuff? That's a really good question. The dry climate and the higher altitudes that we have here are gonna present an issue to some people. So I always recommend that you check with your doctors, especially if you have breathing issues, you have asthma, whatever the case is, to make sure that moving to New Mexico is, is gonna be ideal for you. It might not be for everybody, so I always wanna make sure that I put that out there. Now, on the average temps that we see here, we're looking at anywhere from the 70s to the 90s very seldomly do we see over 100 temps i think this year we see maybe like two to three days of 100 plus temps the rest of the days were around the the mid to high 90s 
And with the rain just coming and cooling everything down in the afternoon this summer, I mean, right now the clouds are starting to come in. It's really made it enjoyable to come outside in the evenings and do some yard work before that rain really starts to come down because the clouds just make everything just drop in temperatures. But another thing that I can't stress out enough is that with us being in higher elevation, that's gonna make it a little bit hotter because we're closer to the sun. That doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be like a hot, humid, or like a super like unbearable hot, like in Arizona where you go outside and you get instantly cooked. Here, it's, it's just hot. <laughs> that's just what it is. It's plain as it sounds. And to really put it into perspective for you guys, you can still go outside, do your thing, run all your errands, and you'll be fine if you go into a store or go into your vehicle when the AC is just blasting. But outside of that, guys, just really make sure that you get with your professionals to make sure that moving down to New Mexico, Albuquerque, or any other town here in the Southwest before you actually move down here because you may actually run into a little bit more issues. You may not, I don't know, I'm not a doctor. I'm only a realtor and I'm only here to help you to get some insight on what life is like down here. Do you ever feel like you talk about a topic so much that it just feels repetitive? I do, 100%, because I can't talk enough about this pro as far as how good it is. The rich culture that we have here is presented by a few things. Number one, the diversity. It's a big melting pot of culture. Everywhere that you go, you're just gonna see so much uniqueness when it comes down to the, the architecture, the art, the, the, the people, the cuisines that we have here, the restaurants, all that stuff. Some people might beg to differ, but I'll be honest with you guys that I've been to a few other cities and none of them really come close to when it comes down to New Mexico and even Albuquerque, right? In a sense, just to give you guys an example, we have so much diversity here because there's been so much history that has came through here that, I mean, they've left a little bit of themselves behind. We really treasure that, to be honest with you guys. I don't know what it is, but we really take into account other people's cultures, other people's history, and really try to adopt the good parts of that culture to make it our own, right? New Mexico is this crazy culture of community, food, love, hospitality, and belonging. I, I hear it all the time, people move here and it's crazy on how fast they make friends, how fast they become part of a community, and they love it, right? They say, man, I would've never gotten this back at home wherever they lived at, whether it's the East Coast or the West Coast. Um, and it's really unique in that sense, right guys? And where else are you gonna find anywhere in the United States where you can afford to live in a pretty decent house and also belong within a group of people that accept you and your culture and really don't think anything about it. So if you wanna live somewhere where the food is great, if you enjoy spices, hot, chili, green is my preference, and you want to live in a place where you can really be yourself, you might want to think about moving down here. Now I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this con and this con here comes down to the availability in the job market. Now it's not super competitive to be honest with you guys. For the most part there's enough opportunity for everybody to go out there and get but those really good high paying jobs. And I've seen this personally, our, those jobs essentially are being held onto by people who've been in those positions for the past 30 years, right? And the only real way to make a name or get yourself into that is by starting at the bottom, which isn't necessarily bad, right? Because it kind of gives you this sense of, this sense of urgency, the sense of hustle. If you're young like me, even if you're not and you got this spirit of just go out there and go get it, you're gonna do just fine. But for the majority guys, you are gonna be getting paid an average of 50 to $60,000 a year. You might get paid even more. I can tell you that if you make a six figure income here in New Mexico, you're gonna live just fine, very comfortably. It's crazy to me how much people actually make less than that and live very comfortable lives, right? And if you are moving down here with a partner or significant other, a two household income is probably gonna be the best bet. If you live on a one household income, it's totally doable. I got tons of friends that do it themselves and still live great lives. So in a nutshell, 
is it going to be hard for you to find a job here? No, not at all. But you are going to have to start from the bottom, right? Because I don't know if it's our culture, right? Going back to that topic, but the New Mexico culture is a big blue collar community. So they really believe in earning your keep and earning the spot that you've been given. They just don't want anybody walking in. Some entities might do that, right? You may have like the Sandia Labs, Los Alamos Labs, Intel, where a certain type of degree or certain level of work is required and you're the only person that can do that. So you might get a walk on to the team. But outside of that, guys, just a regular person like you and I, you are gonna be able to find a good paying job where you can live a comfortable life. You're gonna make your 50 to 60 grand a year and you possibly might make more. And the beauty of that is that with us being a super local kind of hyperactive in that sense of community we are you are going to be able to create a side hustle right if you in have something that you are passionate about art music or whatever the case is you can make a whole business on the side of your job and really be successful here so the sky's the limit i believe that's anywhere that you go but here in new mexico believe it or not the small town vibe is very real and you're going to get a ton of support from the local community here i have a friend that recently just moved down here works on our team he's a singing real estate agent freaking good and he goes and performs at open mics and is already getting invited to go and do other shows at different places so just to give you guys an idea right you're going to be just fine it might get a little competitive in some areas but that's all up to you and where you're planning to work the sun came out of nowhere and really started blasting me it's starting to get out here, hot out here so we're going to start to wrap up this video and one of the last topics is going to be the affordability sense here and now that is the number one reason why a lot of people call me that's probably why you're watching this video because you probably heard that new mexico is still affordable now what does that mean that means that number one you're going to be paying about 16 percent less to live here than most states in the united states now when you are looking at houses you're looking about anywhere from three to four hundred thousand dollars on the average anywhere that you go in the state utilities here just depending on where you live can cost you about 300 bucks a month that's gas water and electricity trash as well all that stuff and just depending on where you live guys property taxes might fluctuate here in albuquerque it really depends and a couple key factors that you can use to help you determine whether it's going to be high or not is if you live to any open spaces the freeway or if you live next to the river or the mountains. That's when you're gonna pay a little bit more in property taxes because of those amenities. I think I pay about $4,000 a year. You guys do the math and figure out if that makes sense for you guys. For me, it does because I know a couple other people that pay twice as much and live in a much older home, but it's because they live close to the river. So really giving you guys an idea of what you can expect to live down here. Groceries aren't that expensive. You can basically go to the small mom and pop shops all the farm to table kind of stuff and purchase your groceries locally and still be able to afford all that stuff or just go down to your local Walmart or Sprouts and live off of 150 bucks, 200 bucks a week. I tend to spend a little bit more because I eat a lot, right? I've talked about that so much. I love to eat. So do my kiddos. They got all the good snacks and me, I just eat rice and chicken. But if you're buying a couple pounds of it, it gets pretty expensive. So if you guys like working out, I highly advise that you guys get a Costco membership and just get all your meat down at Costco. But just, just a little hack for you guys, but I'm sure you guys have seen all the TikToks on that. But really living here in New Mexico, just depending on where you wanna live, just keep in mind that any kind of natural beauties that you are gonna wanna live next to, even in the Northern and Southern parts of the state, it might cost you a little bit more. It is getting hot out here, guys. The sun came out again, but I'm starting to see these storm clouds rolling in faster than I can finish this video. So we're gonna wrap it up with the last con, and the last con is the lack of urban amenities. Now, Albuquerque has a ton, but if you're looking in places like Santa Fe, Taos, Las Lunas, even Rio Rancho, guys, which is right down the street from us, you're gonna see the lack of things to do, entertainment and all that stuff. They're getting better and they're adding more things for people to do, especially in these little mountain towns, which attracts a lot of people from Texas and Oklahoma. So you may start to see a lot more things pop up. But outside of that, majority of the time, you're just gonna see a bunch of open spaces, dirt fields, forests, all that, right? Because we are one of the larger states here in the United States. I think we're like the fourth or the fifth. And about 
maybe 40 to 50 percent of our state is actually inhabited so you guys get the picture right so be real mindful of where you're wanting to live if the city living is what you're looking for but want to enjoy the rural things on the weekend you might want to look in places like albuquerque or las cruces if you're totally about living that outdoor lifestyle and you want to enjoy being on the outdoors basically every day you're going to want to look in those northern towns next to taos but other than that guys i'm heading inside it is hot out here i'm roasting i'm starting to sweat i don't know if you guys can see it through the camera or not but again that number popping up on the screen is my direct line and as much as i love doing these video guys i would love to also help you or a loved one find that perfect place to call home down here in new mexico so feel free to hit us up i am the one that answers all the calls texts and emails and we'll catch you guys on the next video peace